Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. Today I present you a new lesson on how to use Inkscape for crafters. In this class I will teach you how to create designs using text. We're going to be creating a simple design like this one. First, we're going to prepare the Canva. If you already took lesson number one, you will remember that this was the first step. Let's go to File, Document Properties, and you will see this window. Here, it will give you the paper size options to work with. I will pick letter size on landscape. Now you have the area set to start working. Let's start with the text. Click on the A, click on the Canva, and start typing. Click on the top arrow, select the text, click on this T, Select any font and scroll down until you find the font of your liking. I will be using Bella Rush font. Select and apply. If you already know the font, you may also type the name of the font here and select. Click on this top arrow and now you will be able to resize and move the text. Now I will insert the next part of the text. Click on the A, then click on the Canva, type and change the font. On this one I will be using Mystery Sans. And I will do the same with the last word. If you like any of these fonts, I will leave the links in the video description. In the next step, we're going to vectorize and modify the text. If you wish to print it this way, you may do it now but I will teach you how to vectorize it in case you wish to save it in SVG format. Select All, go to Path, Object to Path, Object, and Ungroup. Now it's vectorized and ungrouped. That means we may modify the text, rotate it, resize, or move it. I'm going to modify letter by letter. Now that the first word is already vectorized and modified, select, go to path, and click on union. Now we have this part of the text in one layer. Let's vectorize the next word. Select, go to path, Object to Path, Object, and Ungroup. If you don't need to modify, let's go to Path again and click on Union. Let's do the same with the last word. Now let's align it. Select all the text, click on the Aligning Bar option, click on Align, Center on Vertical. 
Now that the design is already vectorized and modified, we are going to add color. Click on the first word. Look for the color of your choice in the color bar. Click on it and done. We may save it like this, but I will teach you how to insert an image from Google. Let's go to Google. Look for the image or background you wish to use. Save it in a folder easy to access. Once you find the image, right click, save it in your preferred folder and go back to Inkscape. Go to File, click on Import, look for the image you just downloaded from Google. I will use this one. Open it. Click OK and ready. I will change the color on this one, but before I will vectorize it. Vectorizing fonts is different than vectorizing images. With fonts, we use object to path, and with imported images, we use trace bitmap. Select the image, go to path, click on trace bitmap, and you will see this window. Since the image is on one color, select single scan, update, and apply. The top layer is the vectorized one. Keep that one and erase the one on the bottom. We do not need that one. Now that is vectorized, we can add color. Select and send it to the back. Select all the layers and group. We may save it on SVG or PNG format. But before saving, I will show you one more step while working with text designs. I will teach you how to curve text. Insert the text, click on the pencil, draw a curve, click on the top arrow, place the curve on top of the text, select both, go to text and click on put on path. Before erasing the curve, we will vectorize the font. Go to Path, Object to Path, and now we can erase the curve. Now I will show you another way to curve text. Draw a circle, insert the text, Place the text on top, select both, go to text, click on put on path. It is upside down. Select and rotate using this link. Before erasing the circle, we will have to vectorize the text. Go to Path, Object to Path, erase the circle if you don't need it. Now you already know how to create designs using text on Inkscape. Now let's save it on SVG and PNG format. I will save the SVG first. Go to File, Save As, name it, and save it in plain SVG. 
Now it's already saved in SVG format, in layers. Let's save the other one in PNG format. Go to File, Export PNG Image, and you will see this window. Click on Export, name it, and save it. Now it's already saved in PNG format. Transparent background. Perfect for any printing or sublimation printing to customize t-shirts, tumblers, and more. I hope you enjoyed this Inkscape class. If you like any of the fonts used in this tutorial, look for the links in the video description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.